Okay, hi everyone. Okay, let's continue our lesson for this week. Okay, please take out your homework and let's discuss the homework you did previously. Okay, we have to convert from fraction to percentage or vice versa. Okay, the first one, uh, we are given a, a fraction of 27 over 100. So when we want to change to percentage, you always times 100%. Okay, remember you want to change the percentage you times a hundred percent and then this can simplify with this okay you can cross divided by 100 is 1 divided by 100 is 1 then 27 times 1 is 27 percent okay so this is number one okay second one uh, 19 percent you have to change to um, fraction. So what you do is same thing. Nineteen percent. You put it over a hundred. Okay, why a hundred? Because the full percentage is always a hundred. And then it depends whether you can simplify or not. If you cannot simplify anymore, okay, this is odd number. This is even number. So this is already the simplest. Then this is the final answer. Okay, number three. Sixty percent change to fraction. So similarly, 60%, you put it over 100, and then you simplify. Now, cross 1, 0, cross 1, 0. 6 and 10, they are the sphere of uh, 2. Okay, so it's, you can divide 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So the final answer is 3 over 5. Okay, number 4, 3 over 4, change to percentage. So you times a hundred percent. Okay, four and a hundred. This is sphere four. Okay, four divided by four is one. One hundred divided by four is twenty-five. Okay, this is sphere four, and then three times twenty-five. Okay, is seventy-five percent. Okay, this is your sphere twenty-five. Number 5, 85% you need to change to fraction. So you put it over a hundred. Okay, put it over a hundred. And then you simplify it. This is 5, this is 0. So they are CFU of 5. So 100 divided by 5 is 20. 85 divided by 5 is 17. Okay, so the final answer is 17 over 20. Okay, this is even number, this is odd number, so we cannot simplify it. Number 6, 9 over 20. Change to percentage, you times 100%. You can cross 1, 0 first, and then this is CFU 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 10 divided by 2 is 5. 9 times, nine times 5, 45%. Okay, number 7. Okay, I give you extra uh, 4 exercises. Number 7. 7 over 10, same thing, you times 100%. Okay, this is CFU 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1. 100 divided by 10 is 10. 7 times 10 is 70%. Number 8, same thing, change to percentage, you times 100%. You can cross a 0 first. And then this is CFU 5, 5 divided by 5 is 1, 10 divided by 5 is 2. 16 times 2 is 16 times 2 is 32 percent. Number 9, this is CFU 25. Okay, 25 divided by 25 is 1, 1 divided by 25 is 4. So 4 times 4 is 16 percent. Okay, last one, times 100%, cross 1, 0 first, divide 2, divide 2, 5 times 15, 75%. Okay, so remember, fraction change to percentage, you times 100%, percentage change to fraction, you put it over 100 and then you simplify it until you get the answer. Okay, so that's the discussion. Okay, let's continue with our lesson today. Percentage of objects. Okay, percentage of objects. 
This is in your book, page 96. Okay, page 96. Okay, what is percentage of object? Okay, let's look at example 1 here. 3 out of 10 hats are red. Okay, there are 10 hats here. 3 of them are red. So the fraction of red hat is 3 over 10. Okay, 3 is the red one. 10 is the total hats. So the percentage of the red hats, like what we did just now, you times hundred percent okay you times a hundred percent three times ten you get thirty percent so the percentage of red hat is thirty percent number two number of books read in a month okay we have four different friends here total books 50 state the percentage of the books read by I mean Okay, I mean read 12 books out of 50 books. So the fraction is 12 over 50. So you times 100%. Okay, cross 1, 0, divide 5 is 1, divide 5 is 2. 12 times 2 is 24. So the percentage of the books read by I mean is 24%. What is the percentage of 8 vans out of 40 vehicles? So you put the fraction first, 8 over 40. The total you put at the bottom. So 8 over 40 times 100%, right? So this one you can simplify, divide 8 is 1, divide 8 is 5, and then 100, can you see? 1 times 100, 100 divided by 5 is 20%. Okay, let's try question A. State the percentage of the following objects. Right, 8 red cubes out of 20 cubes. So 8 out of 20. Below you put the total. Jumlah letak di bawah. To get the percentage, you times 100%. So this one, divide 20 is 1, divide 20 is 5. 8 times 5 is 40%. Okay, 17 pieces out of 25 pieces. So 17 out of 25. To find the percentage, you times 100%. This is CFIR 25. 4 times 7, 28. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. percent okay right now we have to solve some problems here Sun Santesh Sri Lan and Rokia they collected recycled materials okay week one week two week three what is the total mass so you see the keyword total you have to plus so two one over three 2.5 plus 4 plus 3, 1 over 5. Okay, you plus everything. So you can plus the round number first. 2 plus 4 plus 3. And then half plus 1 over 5. So 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. And then half. This one you make sure the bottom number is the same. So 2 you can times each other. 2 times 5. This one 5 times 2. Okay, you make them the same. And then you add together. 5 plus 2 is 7. 10 remains. 9 remains. So the final answer is 9, 7 over 10 kg. Total mass. Okay, example 2. The total number of members of the science club is 140 three, 3 over 7 are year 4 another half are year 5 calculate the difference between year 4 and year 5 so difference you have to minus so how do we find this now total is 140 year 4 is 3 over 7 of the total year 5 is half 
of the total. So you need to find out how many people, how many pupils in year four, how many pupils in year five. So how do we do this? So three of this word of here you have to times. So three over seven times one hundred forty. Okay, this one divide seven is one. Divide seven is twenty. Three times twenty is sixty. So year four pupils we have sixty, and then year five pupils half of one hundred forty. So half times one hundred forty. Divide two is one. Divide two is seventy. One times seventy is seventy. Okay, now you have the number sixty and seventy. So what is the difference? Difference we minus the more minus the lesser one. Seventy minus sixty we get ten. So the difference between the year four and year five pupils is ten. Okay. Right. Let's look at、um, one more example. Then we do the exercise. There are three balloon cars built from waste material. Okay. We have one, two, and three. Einstein, Pythagoras, and Newton. So the question is, what is the difference? Again, difference. You see the word difference. You have to minus. Covered by Pythagoras and Einstein. This Einstein, this Pythagoras. Now Pythagoras is one point one five meter more than Newton. So you have to take Newton's three point one meter and then plus one point one five meter. So three point one plus one point one five meter first. You get four point two five meter. And then because we are looking for the difference, so we minus we minus Einstein's distance two point one five. Okay, that's why you plus first and then you minus. Okay, you plus and then you minus. Then you get your answer. Make sure you write your unit. Okay, write the meter. Okay, I think. All right, let's look at、uh, one more here. Uh, example five. Mathematics club receive a fund, a collection two hundred eighty ringgit. Seventy was used to buy things. Calculate the percentage of the money spent. So the money was used is seventy ringgit. So at seventy you put above. Two hundred eighty is the total money. So you put below. And then to find the percentage, you times one hundred percent. Okay, this one you can simplify. Cross the zero. Divide seven. Divide seven. Is a、uh, one. This one is four. One over four, and then four and twenty. One over four. Okay, four and one hundred. You can simplify. This one divide four is one. Then divide four is twenty five. So one times twenty five is twenty five percent. So the percentage of money spent was twenty five percent. Okay, so your exercise for today, this one, number one, number two. Okay, pause the video. Number three, number four. Okay, this is page one hundred and one. Okay, again, number four, number three, number two. Number one. So four question one two three and four. Okay, so please do your homework、uh, for this week, and you can also watch the other videos to improve your learning. Okay, that's all for today. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.